Well, hello everybody. You know, I missed the cutoff time for the 11,000 subscriber giveaway. So I think I have 11,700 right now. So we're doing the 11,700 subscriber giveaway, folks. What are we gonna be giving away? I don't know, I just kinda of cobbled some stuff together here. Um, first of all, we're gonna give away some space soap, the fine lunar edition from Bob. He's got his Etsy store, link below. And to go along with that, he's also got a space soap towel that you cannot get otherwise, except through me. This is an exclusive Sinatra Lennon slash space soap exclusive. So we got the soap, we got the towel, now, unfortunately, I don't have any brushes to give away. I got a little button. You want a button? I'll give you a space soap button. But um, I don't have any razors lying around right now that I can give away or uh, any brushes. But what I can and I'm going to give away is the Tark electric razor that I did a shave with a while back. It's the dangerous. It's a 1930s vintage safety razor, electric safety razor. So I'll put a link below to the uh, to that that video that I made a while back. But I'm giving away the Tark, folks. It's just been sitting in my drawer ever since I shaved with it. I didn't electrocute myself. Now it's your chance to possibly have an accident. Don't have an accident. I am not responsible. So this is what we're giving away here: the space soap, the towel, and the Tark. That's right. All right. But what we're going to shave with today is just I'm just going to shave with. Grandpa Grungy. Grandpa Grungy, the 1960 fat boy. I'm gonna use some space soap, just so you can see how it does. I've used this a lot, but this is the afterburner model, which means it was made especially for me. It's got a little bit extra menthol in it. I'm actually using a Bic Chrome Platinum inside the razor today, so that's something new. Instead of a feather, I'm gonna use the fine aftershave, the Aquamarine, now on sale, almost on sale, not quite, March 1st at westcoastshaving.com, so check that out. Love that stuff. And I'm gonna use my uh, vintage badger hair brush with the, uh, it was redone, it was sent to me a while back. Look at all the water that thing holds. This is a vintage handle, and it was repurposed and re-knotted, uh, re and it's beautiful. I don't normally use, that's the only badger hair brush I have. I usually use synthetic, but we're gonna use it today. All right, I took a shower, did my hair. Look at that, yeah, I know. I've got to get the hot water going. I'm going to put some water on my face. And we're going to lather up. So, how do you win the Tark and the Space Soap and everything else? Just put a comment down below saying that you're in. That you're in. You want to win. I'm in, and I want to win. <laughs> you don't have to write that. You don't have to. You won't get extra points if you do, either. So here's what the Space Soap looks like. You can tell I've used it before. It's black. It's black Space Soap. And that's what this is. It's just the same as this, but not as mentholated. So I... I dropped it. I had it in my closet and I dropped it. So that dent, that dent means it's quality. It's been personally hand dented by yours truly, me. Now, time to lather up with the, uh, I've learned finally to use more soap. And this is something I've discovered. I have to use more soap when I'm using a badger hair brush. I have to uh, lather a little bit longer. I'm gonna face lather today. And uh, don't be afraid to load it up. Because these, these pucks of soap last, last a good long while. So don't be stingy with your soap. You could really work this up into a nice lather in a bowl if you want to do that. But you don't have to. All right. There we go. Nice and rich and thick. And any that I have left on my hand, I'm going to just do like this. Yeah. Ah, oh, peppermint. That's the scent of the space soap. At least this version of the space soap. He sells other... He, uh, Bob sells... Um, a grapefruit scent one, so that's nice if you like that. All right, so if you're not familiar with that Tark razor, it was made in the 1930s, as I said. It works perfectly. Now you need to use a GCSI outlet when you plug it in to avoid getting shocked if you decide to use it. Now, I wouldn't recommend using it. In fact, I'll say don't use it, okay? Just keep it as a keepsake as a bit of history, as an interesting curio to talk about, but don't use it, don't use it. It doesn't really work well and it's not worth the danger of plugging in and you know getting a wet razor and possibly shocking yourself. I lucked out when I did it, so. All right, Grandpa Grungy. Uh, I'm gonna dedicate the shave to Kyle Kerr, his dad. So he wanted me to do one with Grandpa Grungy. So Kyle, this is for your dad, buddy. 
Got a lot of great viewers. Got a lot of great subscribers out there. A lot of you have asked me to do a podcast. And I'm not sure what I would do in a podcast. I love listening to podcasts. I listen to them all the time. By the way, this is my 1960 Fat Boy, in case you forgot. 1960, which I will compare to the brand new Replitech when it comes in this summer. Anyway, so podcast ideas. I was thinking, what would I talk about? Now, I would have to mention shaving, right? But like on my live hangouts, I don't like to necessarily just talk about shaving because this is just one aspect of my life, my interests. I'm fascinated by music, guitars, history. I don't like to talk politics or religion. So <laughs> there's plenty of people out there you can listen to if you want to get that sort of content. So if, I, if, if, if I ever do a podcast, it'll just be, um, maybe I'll have an interview with other wet shavers like Ken Surfs or Kevy Shaves or Paul H or those guys. Maybe I'll have special guests on. Talk about what they think about, both shaving and non-shaving. But I was thinking of a name, and I was thinking if I do do a podcast. If I do a podcast, I will call it Sinatra Lennon's Close Shave. What do you think of that? It wouldn't only be about shaving, but it would let you know that it's me. Just in case there's a imposter podcast out there claiming to be me, <laughs> which I don't see happening. Oh my goodness. All right. Mm, that's good. That's good, man. Somebody said, oh, the fat boy is overrated. And yeah, it probably is. It's probably overrated. But if you get a good one, and this was my response, if you get a good one, it could be great. All right? It's kind of like pizza, right? Pizza... Good pizza is great, and bad pizza is still pretty good. All right, second pass. I'm losing some of the lathers. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give a little bit more water, and we'll go back, hit it up. See, I, was, I don't know what I was worried about. What I would do this, I just wouldn't put enough. But now I do, now I put enough. All right, got some on your hand? Oh, the sun, you can tell. The seasons are about to change. I'm about to get sunburned in my own bathroom again. Oh, I love the pepperminty and the little bit extra menthol. Oh, if you're interested in Bob's Space Soaps, check out the link below. If you're in the UK and you're looking for shaving supplies, maybe like for a beginner, because I get asked that a lot. What's a good beginner uh, razor? Check out executive-shaving.co.uk. I recently partnered with them. Executive Shaving is based out of Glasgow, and they ship to the world, really. So if you're in the UK or Europe, shipping is going to be a little bit more reasonable over there. They sell perk near everything, as we say here in the States. They sell so much stuff. So go check them out. And use the offer code SINATRA5. All this, like I said, will be in the links below this video. And to enter the giveaway, the 11,700. To enter the 11,700 giveaway. <laughs> yeah, I should be in marketing. Uh, I'm not, and I shouldn't be. Uh, just comment below that you want to win. You're in it to win it. Or whatever I said earlier that I said you don't have to actually type. And then I'll give it a week, and I'll do the next. I'll do the giveaway next Friday, so there'll be plenty of time for everyone to enter. And since I'm creeping up on twelve thousand subscribers, well, then we'll have to give another giveaway, right? Hopefully, I will have amassed some other things to give away. I, I was contacted by a Chinese company that wants me to review two of their electric razors, and I know I said that I would never do another electric razor uh, review. But I've actually had a lot of people ask for an electric razor giveaway. So I figured, what the heck? I can review these electric razors and then just give them away. I don't know if they're any good, but for free, why not, right? 
So hopefully I'll be getting those sometime soon. And we'll do an electric razor giveaway. Not this kind of an electric razor. This is all its own. The Tark. It's got the box in it. It's got the that old fabric cord, you know, that they used to use back in the day. And some Tark razor blades. So it fits because they are proprietary, which is a problem. I know. All right. Let's do another pass. Let's see if I have enough lather left on this old brush. It's like this old house. This old brush. I've been using this for a while. I don't use it a ton. I love it because of the way it looks. I kind of wish it was a synthetic knot though, you know? And when I say knot, I mean the hair. That's what they call it, you know? Because they knot it up at the bottom to put it in there. They knot them at the bottom. What the heck? What, what, what am I, Mr. Slogan today? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, it's so good. So good. I love peppermint. I love menthol. And this is the great combination of the two. All right. Third and final pass. Do I have any nicks? Oh, Grandpa Grungy, you're doing all right. Kyle, I think that's your dad watching over me. Helping out with my shave. I better be extra careful on this last one. Go extra light. Now, you know, I always do this on a seven. And maybe the Bic blade is, is helping, because normally I use feathers in this and I get a lot of nicks. So the Bic Chrome Platinum, which I often uh, suggest as a good beginner's blade, it's good. I keep I get reminded of that every time I use them. So I'm gonna go real light. Some people say, well, why don't you dial it down? But I don't like to, I've tried that. You know, you start off with a seven, then you go down to a you know, five or a two or whatever as you go along. But I kinda like keeping the same one, because then I just, I can, uh, just vary the pressure, you know, and the angle. And I feel like that works well for me. So that's what I do. But as I always say, and I'll say it until time immemorial, use and shave the way you want to, what works best for you, you know? Don't let anybody tell you you're doing it wrong unless you're just doing it wrong. <laughs> and you know what that is. Don't let anybody's opinion sway yours necessarily when it comes to things like this, as personal as shaving. You know, learn the basics, learn the techniques, and then make it your own. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody shave shame you. <laughs> I'm being shave shamed because I use Barbasol. I'm proud to use Barbasol and I will continue to do so. That was something I struggled with when I was a kid, you know? Peer pressure. Peer pressure. I know for the, my young viewers, because I get a lot of young guys that watch this that are just starting out shaving. It's hard, man. It's like, because if you like something and everybody else doesn't, and you're afraid they're going to tease you for it, you know, that stinks. Try not to let it get to you. I know it's easier said than done. And I still kind of struggle with it sometimes. If I'm having like a, a long conversation with somebody I just met, and they have like very opposing views to mine. I'm like, oh, maybe I should water down what I believe, but I decided that's not a good idea. Just stick to your guns without being, you know, militant or unreasonable about it. Just reasonableness across the board, if you can manage it. Ah, so good. Oh, there's a little, so smooth. What a good shave. Oh man. I got a good one. Grandpa Grungy. It's going to be hard to beat you when I get that, that new Replitech one from Global Shave. I don't know. We'll see. Will it still have the same heft? Because the feel of it is very distinctive, you know? The size of the handle, the, the thickness, the diameter, all that stuff. That plays into it. Pardon me if I'm spending too much time washing my face, but I'm just trying to get it all. Oh, that menthol with that peppermint. Oh man, it's a beautiful day outside today. It's crisp and cool. It's the end of February. It's been a very mild winter for us here, but it usually always is. All right, let's use the fine aquamarine aftershave, which I like. It's got a teeny bit of menthol. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. They'll be selling it March 1st at westcoastshaving.com. Oh. I tell you, if you haven't had the opportunity to try out some really decent shaving products like this or, 
you know, things like the space soap or, uh, you know, a really good razor. If you're just starting off, you still had the Vanderhagen or I, I, it does take shaving and makes it way more pleasurable. It really does. It's strange. Okay, enough chatting. To enter the 11,700 subscriber giveaway, here's what you're going to win. Again, to reiterate, you'll get the space soap towel. You'll get the space soap soap. <laughs> and you'll get the Tark 1930s electric razor. It's one of the very last ones in the world. You can't find it almost anywhere else, especially complete with the box and it works and it's got blades. So I know it's kind of weird, but that's what we're giving away. And I'll throw in a button too, a space soap button. You'll be inundated with space soap products. All right. So check all the links below, leave a comment below saying that you're interested in winning and I will draw a week from today. All right, everybody have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday.